So where are you going to be on April 22nd? Well, I hope that it is watching when NASA and SpaceX will launch four astronauts to the International Space Station. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. It's going to be spectacular, and it could be even more spectacular if something happens, what's called the twilight phenomenon. And there is a chance that that could happen. So if you live on the East Coast, you better get your butt out of bed by 6, 11 a.m. so that you can hopefully witness this if it does happen. And we'll get into that in a second, what the twilight phenomenon is and you know what the probability that it could happen. But also, let's talk about this incredible launch so exciting, of course, as always, when we put astronauts into space. The crew arm is extended exactly where the crew will walk across and get into their their vehicle to go to space. And what's really cool about this is they're using the recycled Falcon 9 rocket and the Crew Dragon Endeavor spacecraft. We have had reusable spaceships before, of course, the Space Shuttle Orbiters. Uh, but still, it was only the third time, right, that a SpaceX vehicle will have had astronauts on it. And it's the first time that they've reused a commercial vehicle for astronauts. And so, and it's also using a reused first stage booster. And so when you think about the skepticism that many people, particularly many people at NASA had, say, 10 years ago, uh, about the safety of reusing boosters and so, and so on, the fact that NASA now has the confidence in SpaceX to go, yeah, we'll use your used booster and we'll use your used space capsule and we'll trust our astronauts' lives to that. Uh, that really shows the change in outlook. Also exciting that just about a week later, Crew One will be returning back to Earth on April 28th. Four new members bringing the total Expedition 64 crew to a total of seven. That is the first long duration commercial crew mission. You know, April is a big month for space history. And I just love this tweet. NASA says that this is the first time that NASA astronauts are scheduled to launch or land each week in four different spacecraft. And I actually had a viewer email me and let me know about something that could happen this Thursday. And I wanted to let all of my viewers know who are on the East Coast, just in case it does happen, because I don't want you to miss out on it. So there's something called the Twilight Phenomenon. And because this launch is happening before sunrise, about 40 minutes before sunrise at 6, 11 a.m., there could be something called the Twilight Phenomenon. And that'll be from the second stage. If it does happen, this is what it could look like. I mean, talk about insane, beautiful, mesmerizing. Man, I really wish that I lived on the East Coast so that I could maybe see this. Again, it's not guaranteed that it's going to happen, but I wanted to let you guys know about it because it could be really, really just magical. I only really find out about them when, when my Twitter feed lights up with people going, oh, what's that UFO? Yeah. Um, it's entirely possible there will be one and, and it'll be nice for people to see and hopefully people will recognize what it is and they go, oh, that's cool, and not, oh, the sky's falling apart. So basically the twilight phenomenon happens when exhaust particles from the rocket propellant left in the vapor trail of a launch vehicle condense, freeze, and then expand in the less dense upper atmosphere. And you just get this beautiful, amazing plume of exhaust. It kind of looks like a corkscrew a little bit, and it's just whipped around by wind currents, and it would make for a spectacular, uh, not only something to view, maybe to photograph, get, get your video out, and uh, man, uh, if you do catch this and it does happen, please let me know because I would love to see it. So if you're a true fan of Dishy McFlatface, maybe you should represent Dishy with this shirt. 
Again, I decided to design this shirt. I've been living in the sweatshirt version of this, but if you like this shirt, you can get your own. The link is in the description here. Again, it would be perfect if you could subscribe. No, oh God, that's cringy. Oh my gosh. It would be really nice of you to click one button to help us. Don't you wanna help little Pinocchio? I paid for his food. And <laughs> As you can see, he really needs more food. Seriously though, if you have any tips on how to like get a cat to lose weight, please let me know. He could use some help. Anyway, I really appreciate you guys joining us. I love reading your comments. If you have any story ideas, email me and uh, I'll see you soon.